The world's first test tube baby, Louise Brown, was born in Britain in July 1978, and by the time Amandine, France's first case of in vitro fertilization, or IVF, came into the world on February the 24th, 30 years ago, it was already a commonplace procedure. IVF, which has brought joy to thousands of couples unable to conceive naturally, is a process by which egg cells are fertilized by sperm outside the body, or in vitro, a treatment for infertility when other methods have failed. The procedure involves hormonally controlling the ovulatory process, removing the eggs from the woman's ovaries, and letting the sperm fertilize them in a fluid medium, usually in a Petri dish. The fertilized egg, or zygote, is then transferred to the woman's uterus for pregnancy to proceed as normal. The egg is fertilized by the sperm at a ratio of 1 to 75,000, and once a fertilized egg is produced, it is isolated and its development monitored to ensure regular cell division of the embryo occurs. At this point, it is possible to freeze the embryos, possibly for subsequent IVF treatment. Two or three embryos are then transferred to the woman's uterus by a fine plastic tube and a syringe in order for the pregnancy to proceed as normal. It is also possible to fertilize an egg by a process known as intracytoplasmic injection of the sperm. This microscopic procedure involves selecting a single sperm which is injected in vitro into the egg through a pipette. The man considered the father of IVF, Cambridge geneticist Robert Edwards was awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2010, although his pioneering work was done in collaboration with Patrick Steptoe, who died in 1988. Their IVF clinic, the world's first, has spawned more than 10,000 test tube babies to date, and the process has been responsible for the birth of more than 4 million children worldwide.